Getty some Manchester United fans are calling for Jose Mourinho's head angry Old Trafford supporters stuck the boot into Mourinho after their December form turned sour. United were cast aside 2-1 by Manchester City to all but end the title race before Christmas. And things went from bad to worse for the special one when Manchester United were dumped out the Carabao Cup at the hands of Bristol City last week. It led to frustrated fans to vent their fury on social media by calling for Mourinho to be sacked. Former United star Ince has slammed the supporters who are putting the boot in on their boss. Getty Paul Ince has slammed the ludicrous man UTD fan Jay said, What I've seen from Man United fans on social media, reacting to their losses to Man City and Bristol City, is just far too dramatic. Yes, I can understand why they are frustrated their right to be, but to call for Jose Marino's head is nothing short of ludicrous, no disrespect to Bristol City at all, but Man United should be beating them. They also don't have the excuse that they fielded a weaker side. They were playing some top top players who just weren't good enough, to me it looked as though the home side and their players just wanted it more. The United lads seemed as though they'd checked out, or as though they weren't interested. And to me that's just completely disrespectful. It's still a trophy, it's still silverware which is the most important thing in football. Not to mention the fact that they are the holders of it. The inevitable reaction to the loss was, of course, for fans to completely overreact and suggest that Mourinho is taking the club in the wrong direction. I mean, come on. Wake up, Ince feels it's not just an issue with United fans, though, and believes it's typical of the modern game. He said, nowadays, I feel like fans think they have a lot of power over what goes on in football. This is largely because of social media, but also shows like talk sport and the media. And I'm not saying that they should NT be allowed a point of view, but the fact of the matter is that none of them are managing a Premier League team.